Our story today is It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle and illustrated by Jeremy Tankard. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. That looks like... A tiger! Run! Push aside these vines and we'll hide inside this cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. In fact, one of those shadows looks like... A tiger! How did he get here? Hurry, climb that ladder and we'll make our escape. Ah, sunshine. Doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh, snakes. Hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, shh, we can tiptoe past. Blue snakes, green snakes, even a great big fuzzy snake that looks just like... A tiger! Run! Yikes, he's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for that rope and swing across this canyon. Now let go! Womp! We made it! Good thing we landed someplace soft. A bed of flowers? A pile of leaves? A giant orange and black pillow? No! We landed on top of... A tiger! Now we're really in trouble! Quick! Climb this rock and slide down the hill. Bumpity, bumpity, bump, bump, bump. Yes, a boat. Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before. Have you? You don't think it could be... A tiger! Not again! Jump overboard or we'll end up as lunch. Swim, swim, splash, splash, splash. I know you're tired, but don't slow down. We're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid. I bet we'll find... A tiger! And he wants to eat us. Roar! Wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. If we scratch his ears and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. Better yet, let's tell him a story. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like... A crocodile! The end. Today we are going to make a paper plate spiral snake. The materials you'll need are scissors, a paper plate, a marker, googly eyes, paint, crayons or markers, and yarn or string. Let's get started. First, draw a spiral starting from the center of your plate and working your way all the way to the outer edge. Then, color your snake in any pattern you would like. Here I'm using paint, but you could also color your snake with crayons or markers. I let my paint dry and now it's time to cut out my snake. Start from the outer edge and work your way into the center of the spiral.
glue your two googly eyes onto the center of the spiral, which is where the snake's head will be. Tie your string onto the snake's head so you can make him slither around. Here is my finished snake. I think he looks super, don't you? Our code word for beanstack is zoo. Thanks for watching.